second installment in a series of tutorials by Vision of Flight on how to fly the Boeing 767. There's just a few things that need to be done before we take off, so if you'll join me in the cockpit, I'll show you what we need to do. First of all, we should set the auto brakes to RTO. That stands for Rejected Takeoff and means that the auto brakes will be applied if we cut the throttle during takeoff. So as you can see, I've done two things here on the MCP. First thing I've done is set the speed selector to 126 knots. 126 knots is our VR speed, or rotate speed. And since we'll be performing an auto takeoff in this flight, I've set it to that VR speed. The other thing I've done is set the altitude selector at 1,000 feet above our cruising altitude. This is for VNAV to function properly. Also, for the auto takeoff, you're going to want to press this button here. As you can see, that changes our engine setting to takeoff. So when we turn on the auto throttle and engine pressure ratio, hold, it'll set it to the correct amount. And with all that done, the last thing we need to do is set the flaps. So now that we're ready for takeoff, let's just taxi onto the runway. So to perform the auto takeoff, the only thing I've done is engage the auto throttle and set the hold to EPR, which stands for Engine Pressure Ratio. And with all that done, just sit back and watch the plane fly itself. I'll see you next episode.